Hi everyone, sometimes in event videography you can't control every aspect of the image. Um, something happens and all of a sudden uh, your subject isn't lit right or uh, the lights are too hot in one spot and not right in another and you need to fix it. Uh, one of the tools available to do that in Adobe Premiere Pro is actually the circle tool. So it's a really weird use of the effect, uh, but we're going to go ahead and do this. Uh, I've got a shot here from my wedding, um, once again, because it's the material I have uh, on my machine. Uh, and it's from the end of the night. The videographers had already put their lights away, and then the DJ uh, decided, you know, as an event, it's got everyone on the dance floor uh, and played That's What Friends Are For. And all my uh, family and friends around us singing, singing. That's why I have it muted and to protect the um, inebriated. Um, so yeah, it's, it's great. It's a little underexposed. And we could just color correct it and say, you know, okay, we'll make the whole thing brighter. Maybe put a vignette on it. Uh, if you missed the vignette video that I recorded at the same time, uh, then by all means, uh, click this area of the screen right now. It'll take you to that video. Um, but what we're doing is instead, let's uh, let's just take this one spot and brighten this here. Um, let's keep this dark in the background. We don't want to color correct it up and then use a vignette to bring that back down. We just want to raise the middle here. Um, almost, let's see if we can get it to look like we're spot, spot lit, spotlighted, spotted, brighter than the rest. So again, we're going to come over to Effects, Video Effects, Generate, and Circle. And we'll drag this onto uh, right here. Now again, uh, Blending Mode here, default is set to None. On a Mac, I believe it's set to Normal by default, and this just plops a white circle in the middle of things. Um, and let's keep it on Normal just so we can see where our mask is uh, during the shot. Um, it looks like we're going to want it centered maybe offset to the left just a little bit. So why don't we do that, move the center of the spot over here, right in between us. There we go. Looks like it's censoring something we're saying. Um, sorry, lip readers. Uh, okay, so now that we've got that placed, we're going to get it to envelop more of us. So again, that involves increasing the radius. And then we don't like that sharp fall off, so we're going to increase feather as well. Now you can't see us right now. You can look at this and say, okay, that's where the white is covering. This is feather of about 250, and we want to drag in the radius a bit because it's a bit much. 500 and 250 is where we'll start with this. Now, just like with the vignette, the magic here is in the blending mode, uh, except we're not going to soft light. Oh, are we going to soft? Oh, I guess we, we could kind of go to soft light. I was going to go with overlay. Yeah. So the difference here is that soft light is taking the shadows and bringing those up as well and washing it out a bit. Overlay um, preserves the contrast of the image. So this part is still dark. This part is still dark. Um, so that's, I guess, going to be personal preference as to what you want. Um, but yeah, it's super simple. And now we are lit, we are the subject of the shot, we're in the foreground here. You know, maybe it's it's going a bit too high on uh, you know, up here, so we're gonna, we can drag that down a little bit. We have this flexibility to bring that down. Yeah, that's fine. So this is kind of an, an odd use for it. Um, my wedding was actually really well shot, considering I wasn't shooting it, so I'm super happy with the people that did shoot it. So, hey, you guys did a great job. You know who you are. Um, <clears throat> But sometimes I'll run into a, a situation where uh, the subjects are lit really bright by spotlights. Um, and say we have like a GoPro as a wide angle. The subject is lit really bright by spotlights and uh, everything else is just correctly exposed. So instead of overlay, maybe you'll do the same thing. You take a circle, you put it over your spotlit head table. Um, and, I don't know, maybe Multiply will make things. Yeah, Multiply makes it darker instead. No, that's just how dark it was. You play with blending modes until it gets you what you want. Um, you know, maybe it was really bright there, and you're like, alright, cool, I want to brighten the whole shot, but not the spotlight. Um, let's say we wanted to brighten everything else except for us, then 
we keep it on overlay and we turn off that invert circle. And this looks really weird here because, again, we were relatively properly lit compared to the scene, but uh, trust me on it. If you have a shot where uh, the subject is spotlit, like right in the middle or off to the side or something like that, uh, and you want to brighten the rest, you can use this as well. You do the overlay, uh, you can change the intensity of it with the opacity of the circle that you're adding on top. You can move it around to be wherever you like. Uh, and that is using the circle to uh, the, the circle effect as a uh, targeted color correction uh, or at least brightness correction effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. Uh, so thank you very much for watching uh, this tutorial. If you enjoyed it, uh, please check out the uh, circle vignette tutorial uh, that is on screen. I've also done a color isolation tutorial in Premiere, uh, again also using my wedding. Uh, and I did a uh, anamorphic lens flare uh, effect tutorial uh, way back when in After Effects uh, that does not use my wedding because <laughs> it was years before then. Um, so yes, uh, if you enjoyed this, give it a thumbs up. Um, share it with people that you think would use it. It is a very versatile tool, and I hope you'll uh, find some use for it. Thanks for watching. Bye.